Hey everyone, Jonathan Doucette here at St. Albert Dodge. Super fresh trade to show you today. 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. This is a premium level van, lots of luxury inside. We're gonna take a look at everything. Um, very classy as well too. We have the classic Chrysler grill up front with the, the wings and looks super sharp. Beautiful rims, again, has that Chrysler rim on it. Um, one thing I always like to point out about the, the, these vans is on the key fob you have unlock lock, remote start. You can open up your rear hatch, open up the side doors. So it's super handy, just like little features. You don't have to worry about your, if you need to send to your, you know, four-year-old or five-year-old to the van to go pick something up, just open up the door for them. They can jump in, grab whatever they need, come back. And then you can shut the door as well too. Shut the cargo trunk, shut everything up. Do you have the integrated roof rack system? Right now it is in the roof rack position, but you can actually take these cross members and store them in the uh, front to back rails as well too. So very, very handy. Take a look at the ca cargo capacity in these vans. Everything's very, very well laid out, well designed. Push the buttons on the fob, there we go. Open it up. And if you were to have this, and it's gonna bump into something, if you bump into something, it'll, uh, it'll stop and we'll go back down. So tons of storage capacity. This is a big cavity back here. If you wanna, don't need the extra third row, you can fold these down. So they're all labeled. So you have one, collapses the headrest, two, collapses the back, three, releases the lock on everything, and four, brings it back, gives you a flat floor. So super easy, one, two, three, four. Now you have a flat floor. Middle ones are pretty much the same, a little bit different uh, process, but just as easy to do. Um, so yeah, you can put in, uh, you know, move a couch or, or plywood or whatever you want. There's a whole bunch of space to do just about anything in here. And something that's neat on the Chrysler's too is you have these window screens as well. So they're on the back windows here, on the sliding door windows, very, very handy. And then you have a push button to close everything up. This unit does have a backup camera. So when you put it in reverse, there's the little camera lens right there. It'll come on automatically. So you can see you're not gonna back up into a, another vehicle or a wall. Let's take a look in the mid section and see you soon. So as you can see back here, um, super cool feature, the panels of the door actually slide down the glass panels, give you an open window. So tons of ventilation. In the years past, these were always fixed and you only had the kind of the back windows to, to rely on for rear ventilation. Um, do have the screen, so if you have small children or anybody, frankly, um, the sun's getting the eyes on the, the road trip, you can just hook these up. Very, very handy, nice and integrated. You usually see those on luxury German vehicles. Um, pull the handle, there's a button here. You can pull the handle here. There's buttons up front. There's like five or six ways to open this door, which is crazy when you think about it. A minivan's got six ways you can open the siding doors. A couple different things back here with the seating. If you want to get to the back row, um, you can kind of traditionally go through the center aisle, if you will, or flip these up and then you can egress into here. Very handy. I'll show you the stow and go seating that I was talking about. We have it at the back. But these compartments here, they open up. There's a great place to store valuables on a road trip, electronics, that thing, and no one's gonna see them. But if you just open this up, slide it in, push it down. That's how simple it is to stow away your seats. Do that here. Take, you know, less than two minutes, you can put all your seats down. Have basically a pickup truck box in the back of this van. It's very handy. Um, and one thing that these guys, the vans do that a lot of other manufacturers didn't do is they actually put heat ducts and vents up here. So, um, you know, you're not relying on your, your front dash vents to heat the whole back or cool the whole back. All these ducts are all plumbed in here. So it really makes heating or cooling the space very handy. Let's take a look up front and go over some of the controls. Up front, time to go over. You have heated seats in the front. You have tilt and telescopic steering, which is super handy. Adjustable pedals, so there's a little toggle switch here where you can bring your pedal length in and out. Um, automatic headlights, cruise control, all your standard features. Your steering wheel mounted controls for your audio in the back, so you can switch between your presets. You can see it kind of changing your radio stations there. Or switch between your media type, and then you can have your uh, um, volume and, and 
um, song switching if you have a CD in there. Do have a CD player, so if you want to put your CD in there, put it in, able to play. Very, very cool. Yeah, and you have a hard drive. This is a hard drive as well, too, so if you have a USB stick, you can plug it in here. Load up, uh, you know, 20 or 30 gigabytes worth of music. Don't have to worry about streaming from your phone. Always have it on there. Um, very handy. With the Chrysler, you do have the nice little Chrysler clock up front. It's kind of a hallmark of their, their, the brand. Always have that clock up front. And just, yeah, lots of little compartments. They, they, they do a very well, good job. Uh, you know, this and the Grand Caravan are, have been the you know the best-selling minivan for decades. So um, all the convenience features have 12-volt plug-ins here. Do have a 115-volt plug-in. Um, sorry, I don't even know where that is. Oh, down there. So you do have a switch here. You can turn your 115 volt power on. Um, if you have fast charging phones or some electronics that you don't want to, um, you don't have USB ports, you can you can hook it up through that. Fuel economy mode, so it just makes everything a little bit less responsive. Um, you know, it helps you prevent you from um, burning too much fuel. And tons of storage in the glove box. For, let's say very well laid out, very ergonomic, beautiful leather seats. Um, yeah, what more can I say? It's a uh, town and country. Very awesome van. Come down, give me a shout out on my personal cell. My name is Jonathan, 780-952-3018. And we'll talk to you soon.